that made the two of them. About ready to get his due. Vietnam War hero whose bravery was lost in a sea of red tape until now. Flying the stars and stripes on the 4th of July, something many American families do. But for Richard DeMarco and his family of North Royalton, today had special meaning. He served a year in combat in Vietnam with the Marine Corps. But early this year, he got a packet of awards due him, a packet that was light, one particular medal. DeMarco earned the Navy Commendation Medal, but was never awarded it because the people responsible for the paperwork were actually killed. The paperwork itself was was destroyed. Now, 21 years later, DeMarco is about to be honored by his country. DeMarco was only 21 years old when he led a platoon in various patrols, ambushes, operations. The nitty-gritty, deadly work that left a lot of soldiers with nightmares. DeMarco says the medal would mean a lot for himself and for the people he served with. I think the medal belongs more to my men than, than to me. Uh, if it wasn't for their efforts, then you know, nobody would have recognized my efforts. Perhaps this August, when Vietnam vets gather in Cleveland from all around the nation, maybe that's when Richard DeMarco will be properly honored, and that will be another round in the healing process we so badly need. Alan DiPietro, Eyewitness News. Richard DeMarco is now waiting for a letter to tell him when he will get his medal. More paperwork. Brought some recognition that he's been looking for since 1967. Alan DePietro has his story. Last 4th of July, we showed you former Marine Sergeant Richard DeMarco, his wife and two children, celebrating word that he'd finally been getting a medal to him 21 years ago in Vietnam. Today, while thousands of Vietnam vets from a dozen states, Vietnam and Australia, looked on, Richard DeMarco finally got his Navy Commendation Medal with a V for Valor. DeMarco had waited for this day since 1967. The ceremony lasted only a few minutes, but these memories will last a lifetime for his son, Jason. It's a big day for me. I know my dad's waiting for it. And my sister A good experience for his other son also, Chris. The atmosphere is amazing around here. You can feel the unity. Yes, you could feel the unity here, and you could see the love of family. Finally, recognition for the deadly parts of war. Leading patrols, selecting ambush sites, placing mines. It's a healing experience. It's like a collective funeral. It's a funeral that we never really had. It's, you know, it's a rejoicing of everything else, but it's not to glorify the war or glorify any, anything. You know, Welcome home, Richard. Welcome home all men and women who served in Vietnam. God bless and keep you all. Alan DiPietro, Eyewitness News. Welcome home.